Hi guys, welcome to my channel software testing by MKT as a part of this video. I'm going to explain you how you can fetch the value from an Excel sheet using data driven testing concept, right? So let us go deep into it and understand. I'm going to explain this topic using Java project, not using Maven project. If you guys want to understand using Maven project also, stay with me till the end of the video. I will talk about that too. So let me share my screen. So as you can see my Eclipse I have just now installed right so what I have to do I have to just first create a new project so I'm going to create a Java project let me give you my project name as Selenium I'm going to select my GRE as 1.8 and I'm going to click the finish button once project is created now my next job is going to create a package I'm going to create my package name as package one let's say after creating the package my next job is to create a class so I'm going to create a class as test case one let's say right so i'm just writing test case one let's say in this test case one my responsibility is to just fetch the value from an excel sheet in order to fetch the value from an excel sheet i need to install some jars file okay and those jar files are called as apache poi jar files okay apache poi jar files in order to download the apache poi jar files you need to visit a website called as apache poi and after visiting this website you need to go to downloads and after going to downloads you need to go to the binary artifacts after going to the bi binary artifacts you need to go to poi bin 5.2.3 zip folder and then you can download this you need to wait for little bit of time for, to allow it to get downloaded completely once download is completely done you can happily go inside your downloads and after going to your downloads you can extract it after extracting it you can see you got all the jar file after getting all the jar file what you have to do in your package you need to do the right click you need to go to the build path configure build path and you need to go to libraries add external jars after going to add external jars you need to start adding all the jars so hope you are able to see all the jars present here you can add it after doing that you can again click on add external jars you can go inside this folder and you can select all the jars and then again open it then you can again click on add external jars come out of this folder and go to this folder and select all the jar once after that you need to again one final time you need to go inside this LIV folder and select all the jars and after that you can click on apply and apply and close once after doing that guys your jars are finally added now you can start fetching the values from an excel sheet guys always remember there are some non-technical steps are present in order to fetch the value from an excel sheet those non-technical steps i will be guiding you now same way we will be fetching the values okay so the first step that you have to do now is you need to first specify that where exactly is your excel sheet so as you know that as of now i have not yet specified that uh, where exactly is my excel sheet so this is the first thing that we have to do second thing that we have to do is we have to open the excel sheet after opening the excel sheet the third thing that we have to do is we need to go to the particular sheet which has the value after going to the particular sheet now we need to go to the particular row and after going to the particular row we finally have to uh, go to the particular cell which has the value in it so these are the common steps are there which i must do now how to do that let's do it so as of now you can see i have not yet added where exactly is my excel sheet so what i will do i will just go to the properties and uh, i'll just go to my location after going to my location here i'm going to add one folder and i'm going to provide it as a data or a test data after giving this name i will go back to my i'll go back to my project and i'm going to refresh it once you refresh it the folder has not come here because i'm creating the folder where project is available i need to make sure that this particular folder is inside selenium so now if i refresh this you can see test data is now inside the selenium project so what i will do now in this test data i'm going to click on the new button and i'm going to add the excel sheet i'm going to provide the sheet name my sheet name is going to be let's say manish just remember one thing guys is that the extension of the excel sheet will always be dot excel sx this is something that you must know try to open this excel sheet after opening this excel sheet guys you must know little bit about rows and column guys this 
horizontal lines are called as rows and this vertical lines are called as columns which you might be knowing already i'm pretty sure about it but still i have guided you about it guys now always remember one thing that the indexing of the first row will always be zero the indexing of the second row will always be one similarly the indexing of the first column will always be zero and the indexing of the second column will always be one and so on please remember that you can look at the sheet name that i have sheet name here is sheet one if you want you can change that so i'm going to name my sheet name as login it's your wish you can change it there is no problem at all okay now i'm going to say that my column number one is username i'm going to say that column b is my password guys just for a knowledge i'm telling now in this username and password I'm finally going to store my random username and password. So my username is stbymkt at the rate of gmail.com. So this is actually my username. Password, I'm going to add randomly any number, right? So I have added, okay? After adding everything, you can do control S and after doing control S, you can close this. You can go back to the code and now you can start writing code. Guys, always remember one thing that you have added some extra jar files. What happens when you add extra jar files, right? It will be having its own various classes, package, abstract methods, abstract classes in it. So you need to remember those names. I'm going to remind you again, guys, the steps that I just said you. The first step that is that you have is called as First, you need to let your Java know that where exactly is your Excel sheet. Guys, for that, you need to create an object of a class and that class is called as file input stream. So you have to create an object of the file input stream. Once you created an object of the file input stream class, you need to hover over it. It should give you import option. If it is not giving you import option, that means you have added some wrong jars. So where have you added jar in the build path, configure build path, right? Uh, maybe you have done something wrong with your jar. So just because I'm getting the import option, that means my jars are perfectly fine. So I'm going to hover over it and I'm going to import it. Once after doing that, you can see issue is not getting resolved because here I need to specify where exactly is my Excel sheet, right? So where is my Excel sheet? For that, I'm going to refresh my project again. Now you can see in, under the test data, I got my Manish Excel SX. So I'm going to the properties of it. So from here, I can capture my location. So I have copied my location of my Excel sheet and I'm going to paste it here. Once after writing this, you can hover over it and add throws declaration because in this beautiful class file input stream, right? There are some exceptions present like uh, the exceptions that is written here, like file not found exception, which also I am going to show you as a part of this particular class guys after that you need to open the excel sheet for that you need to make use of workbook factory and you need to utilize its method called as create so which excel sheet you want to open you want to open the excel sheet which is called as f1 so right here f1 so here also there are some exceptions present for which you need to add throws declaration right now you must be thinking what is uh, uh what is this workbook factory guys this workbook factory is one of the final class that we have and create it's one of its static method guys just remember one thing that the return type of this create method is called as a workbook interface hope you are able to see here right so you need to store it in the return type of the create method which is called as workbook f1 not f1 w1 is equals to you need to import this workbook coming from a poi ss user model and after that using w1 you can make use of the get sheet so with sheet you have the value let me show you again let me open this and show you in this manish excel sx which sheet has the value sheet name is beautiful login sheet okay so what you have to do, you need to write here, the sheet is login, okay? You have entered inside the sheet. After entering to the sheet, the next thing that you have to make use of a get row, which row has the value, okay? So let's say guys, I'm trying to fetch my username. So my username is this. So as you know that my username is st by mkt at the rate of gmail.com, take example. So what is the row of my email ID? As I have already said to you, the first row will be zero and the second row will be one so row is one so what i have to do now i need to go here and write here row is one after row what i have to do i have said to you already you need to go to the particular cell right but before i type with cell 
let's check it out guys i have come to this particular row but which column this column or this column i need to fetch the value of from this column right so my cell will also become zero okay and guys finally whatever the steps that i had said you here i have made use of each one of them i have oh i have let my code know where is my excel sheet i have opened my excel sheet I have gone to the sheet, I have gone to the row, I have made use of the cell and finally I need to use one of its method called as get string cell value. Using get string cell value, I will be able to fetch the value. Okay, guys, just remember that the return type of the get string cell value is a beautiful string. So you have to write here string username. Guys, how you have fetched your username, right? Similarly, let's fetch the password. So as you know that my password is also present in the same login. So till here, there will be no change. But what is the row of my password? Let's discuss this. What is the row of my password? Row is same. So this will remain one. But what is the column of my password? Zero or one? One. So here you have to make change as one. Guys, finally, what I'm going to show you that I'm going to print my username. And after that, I'm also going to print my password. And then I'm going to run this program. After running this program, you can now see my username and password is now fetched. Guys, this concept is called as data driven testing which is also called as DTT guys what happens whenever you write a code of login to any application right you need not you need not write the value of the username and password in the code you need to better write the code in such a manner that the username and password is actually coming from an excel sheet so this is how you can store the value inside the excel sheet and you can fetch the value I hope this video was helpful this is very generic case and the program is working very perfectly fine right but guys i also want to tell you that it has a lot of exceptions that may arise that also i want to discuss with you today guys i'm going to discuss the first exception that may come if you provide the wrong location so what i will do i will create one more uh, file input stream and location guys i'm going to just change my file name to some other name let's say uh, manu.xlsx guys as we know that there is no manu right there is only manish there is no manu.xlsx so guys this program should give me an exception what exception you guys watch it now okay so the exception that you have got is called as file not found exception you got file not found exception because this particular sheet is not at all present someone can definitely ask you if you are applying for the position of automation tester that why we get the file not found exception so this is the reason so i hope this is clear to you now i'm also going to discuss with you one more exception when you try to fetch the value from an empty cell okay what happens when you try to fetch the value from an empty cell? What I'm trying to tell, as you can see, I don't have anything into this particular cell, the cell which I'm representing to you now. I don't have any value in it. So if I'm going to fetch it, what it will give me, let us check now. Okay, so guys, uh, in order to fetch the value of this particular cell, what is the row? Row is two and the cell is zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here a two and zero. Let us check the exception. This will give you some new exception which can be asked to you guys in the interview. Okay, so you got one more exception called as null pointer exception. Now, what is null pointer exception? I mean, uh, you're trying to fetch the value which does not have any data in it. That's why it is, it is giving you the null pointer exception. Wherever you're pointing, it is not giving you any kind of value. And that is why you are getting the null pointer exception. Guys, not only that, we have one more problem to discuss. One exception that can be asked to you guys in the interview. Okay, watch out carefully. Guys, a lot of time what happens, a lot of people, they will be having their mobile number only. A lot of people, uh, their mobile number will be their username. I hope you agree. Guys, this is not my mobile number. So try not to call this number. <laughs> now, as you can see, the mobile number uh, is present inside the cell, right? So I'll try to fetch this particular value. Guys, when I will try to fetch this value, right? Let's see what I get. I will get one more exception that I want to discuss with you. So you can see I'm getting an exception exception called as illegal state exception. Why I'm getting the illegal state exception? Because cannot get a string value from a numeric cell. Let's understand the meaning. Guys, the moment you type any, any number, right? The number can be your age, can be your roll number, or can be your mobile number, right? Or your salary. What happened? It starts treating as a numeric cell. So 
this get string cell value will not help you to fetch the value something else will help you to fetch the value so you can see line number 19 is giving me exception line number 19 is giving me the exception because this particular program is not helping us to get the answer so guys for that reason we make use of a number to text converter class number to text converter class and we have to utilize its method called as to text okay from here you can write this particular code till here let me show you so as you know that your uh, value is actually present in w1 so you did get shit get row get cell and after get cell you can make use of get numeric cell value what i'm trying to tell you when you have the mobile number present right then you need not make use of the get string cell value then you have to make use of a get numeric cell value okay once after making use of the get numeric cell value you can finally fetch your answer in the return type of a string and that is going to be your new user name so i'm going to print my username now let us check so you can see i have finally fetched my mobile number i hope this program is easy and i hope you guys have understood now guys now let's say tomorrow if i have have to write this this username in my uh, facebook application or any application to log in uh, instead of typing my mobile number i am just directly going to use this un i am directly going to use this password i hope this video was helpful in case yes give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your needy friends thank you so much